you'll see. You just need to make sure you're blending it in. Hey you guys, let's do a get ready. So far I have added my Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. And right before that I used the Physicians Formula Vitamin C Serum. And so far I've only done one pump of the In Real Life Revolution Foundation. I love this because you don't need a lot. So far this is just one pump. You can still see my pores but I feel like it still gives that natural look. I really love drugstore makeup, along with some of the higher end makeup, mostly because I feel like it still has the same effect as long as you get the right ones. So I'm actually just gonna leave this because I'm liking my natural skin. You can always add a little more. Let's see how much more it adds when you do add an extra pump. So one pump, Just using a beauty blender, it's a little messy, but let's see how it goes. So this is just one pump's worth and I'm gonna do one more. I have rosacea, so my skin usually has a little bit of a pink undertone, normally. And I, I have combination skin, T-zone, and my sides tend to get a little dry. So I try to give myself a little extra moisture. So this is full coverage. You can definitely see my skin. But it hides all of that extra that I'm trying to hide. And baby skin really helps with my pores because I have really large pores. My next product I'm gonna use is Physicians Formula Palette. This is awesome because it actually has bronzer, blush, overall face, and highlighter built into one. I'm gonna start contouring, let's get started. I went crazy with Physicians Formula, so I'm also using their brush. It's built in so you can have, it's like four items in one. So I usually start with overall, just to give myself a little bit of a base. I started with that initial cream foundation and I feel like this just kind of helps set it. I am going to add setting powder, but after the contour. So far, what do you think? Welcome back to part two. We're contouring. So, I actually like to start with the bronzer first and then underlaying the contour. Tell me what you guys think. This is how I've been doing it. I've tried both ways, but this is what I think looks better for my rounder face. So I just start from the top, slowly layer it on. And I just really like to get started. I do smaller strokes but in an upwards position, so it gives me more of an angular look. If you notice, I'm not throwing it on heavily. And then I build it up towards my temples. Build it up, build it up, build it up. And then I like to contour the sides of my nose. I honestly just love it. And then I like to put a little bit under my chin just so I look a little bit more chiseled so in order to do the rest of the contour I'm using the physician's formula the uh, contour palette the top right for me is the contour and I'll show you it's starting to give that shading and it helps me guys see it a little bit closer you guys can see how it looks on my skin and see what you guys want for yourselves. I've played with a ton of makeups, but so far this is the one that feels the best on my skin, looks the most natural, 
and it's just complimenting. I've tried the latte makeup look. I feel like this really works for it because it's got a lot of beautiful brown tones. Let me keep going and I'll be right back. So this is what I have so far. So far you can see it. it looks a little more natural when you get closer. It's not too harsh. I always thought it looked a little too extreme when someone went too far. Um, there's a really pretty like a yellowish tone. I usually save this for the center. This brush is like an all-in-one for me. It's like a travel brush through Physicians Formula. I highly recommend it. Give me a sec. Now I go back to my palette. I add the overall face and I blend all of this out. That's how my skin looks close up. I'm gonna test it so you guys can figure out if you even like it. But so far I do. What do you guys think? Just basic on. Now I'm using the Revolution setting powder so I can use my nose and my cheeks a little bit and my chin. Give it a try. I go crazy because I'm just going to dust it off anyway. And then the T zone. Let's keep going. Next, I'm doing eyeshadow. I'm using the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. I'm just going with warm tones. I'm going to be using Trick and Liar. I just brush trick first and then I go around with liar. So just a little bit on the inside corners and brush the rest out and liar on the outsides. And let me show you how it turns out. All done. Next, I actually use the Maybelline Tattoo Studio to fill in my brows. Let's see. Let's try that. See how it turns out. I like to load the brush. And I actually use the spoolie to get any excess makeup off. Just set a tone for it. And I go under, below, just to get a general outline. And I go towards the top, just a touch. And this works as a wax, almost, too. You don't have to go too crazy. From here, I just lift, lift, lift to we'll fill it in. Give it a nice filled in look. Tap, tap, tap. Use the spoolie. Let me show you how it turns out. So the eyebrows turned out. I'm still baking, y'all. And next is eyeliner. I'm using the Revolution Eyeliner. Easiest liner I've used so far. Let me show you. This is on camera. I normally do better with a mirror. I just do an overall line. And then I use that to give me an idea. Start filling it in. And then I later, later use a pencil liner. But this is just to get the look. And let's get that wing. Fast and easy. That's the other side. Eyeliner. We're back. We last said eyeliner. And I still have the setting powder because I wait till the last second because I want this to bake. Next product I'm using is the Diamond Mascara by Physicians Formula. I am just obsessed with Physicians Formula. I can't get enough and I could go crazy. So I try to get a little bit of the under just to get it started and then I go over I hate it when I can see all the powders and stuff I've used because it gets stuck on my eyelashes and they're not very long so this actually does a really good job of accentuating them for me 
I am gonna put eyelashes over this, but I feel like it blends better, but also stays better when I set this on first. A lot of people think it's my real eyelashes, but I really attribute everything to the mascara because it bonds it really well. And I like to use the tip of my spoolie or wand. Give it a good brush out. And then I like to fill in my eyebrows a little. You guys try it, see if it works for you. I personally love it. I feel like it works as like a brow gel. And of course, a little something, but nothing a little wipe away can kind of fix. Next, we are gonna be doing the eyelashes. So I use Kiss Adhesive and I am terrible putting eyelashes on, so this is my trick. I literally just put some of it on my actual eyelid, just right above the lashes. Just a good generous amount, nothing too crazy, you don't want to clump it on. And I just smooth it over and then I wait for this to get tacky. And I put the eyelashes on. If you notice, I'm putting a little bit on the eyelashes themselves. Your eyelashes are fine. You just have to be very gentle when you take them off. But this will stay all day. I've gone in the pool. They last. Let's wait for this to get tacky. Tip from me, when it starts to kind of disappear, we can start. So let's start with my first eyelash. Let me get this started. Y'all, I get so nervous with my eyelashes. It's sad. And then I start with the corners and I just tap them in. It's so much easier to put these on. This is how they look. And then I just start putting them together. So my last video got cut off, but we're just putting eyelashes on. I am just adjusting to my eyelid and my eye size. But as you can see, since I put the glue on here first, it's staying. It's pretty nice. And next, the other side looks almost disappeared, so it means it's ready. Let me adjust the eyelash. And then I'll just tap them together. Like I said, a lot of people think that these are either just my eyelashes or that they're like extensions. They're not, they're just strips. I actually order these off of Amazon. It's a big old pack. It's like $10. I'll put the link or the name for this. Yeah, you guys are gonna love it. So this part's a little messy, but I use my fingers because like I said, my mascara is still not fully dried and it just bonds it. See how you can see that side view and then just together. Same thing with the other side. And I just like to make sure everything is put together. Your fingers are gonna get dirty, but it's worth it. So while I'm waiting for the ashes to fully cure, I like to add a little bit more contour just for definition. And I really focus on the upper cheekbone here because I feel like it gives me that angled look. You can see the before and after. You'll see. You just need to make sure you're blending it in. And I'm doing this in front of a natural light because I, really, I want you guys to see how it really looks. And for any extras, I use the Physicians Formula Diamond Clear. This you can use on your eyebrows if you know that they tend to move on you. You can use it on baby hairs. Yeah, I, my baby hairs always get in the way, so I try to like 
fix it before I put my hair down so it stays for the rest of the day. Now we just have the lip, Maybelline. Let's put it on. This is in Charmed 100. About to dust and set. Close up and set. 